Welcome back to Alberta Angling. Today we're back in the MB2 region trying to hunt down some yellow perch, the notorious Alberta yellow perch. So our strategy today is kind of like hop around, see if we can mark anything on the uh, on the sonar, and uh, if so, drop down on them and try a few different lure techniques. Um, what we'll do today is try to get some underwater footage as well, so you can guys can kind of see how they interact with the bait and. Uh, you gotta get that first hand experience though. So. But first of all, we gotta find them and hopefully we get on them. We'll get a few up on the ice. Stay tuned. There's fish. On. Back down. And it happens when I'm not filming. Catch him then. Here's one. Aggressive. Got him. Right on. I want to get tangled up here. There he is, right on. Yeah, so we're just catching perch today. Nothing huge, but I mean, definitely uh, eaters. That's uh, the second for me. And uh, I've just been punching holes, you know, every 30 feet or so. Uh, there's a big flat here, probably around 10 feet deep. And uh, we're uh, trying to hone in on some sort of strategy I'm using a tungsten jig with just a little plastic right now. Try to keep it horizontal and uh, fishing it right on the bottom. So technique is working so far. Two fish and uh, we'll just keep going, see if we can catch more. Sometimes you don't even feel the bite. So I just like to lift my rod just a tad, see if there's any weight on the end of that braided line. That can help too with feeling the bottom because they're just so tight to the bottom. Usually people fish, you know, a foot or two off the bottom when they're going for walleyes or pike, but it's a matter of inches, I think, with perch, especially if you're fishing in shallower water. They really like that bottom. Oh, I just missed them. Drop it again. Rachel's using the underwater camera right now, so hopefully we can score some underwater shots for you guys. Seems to be always the coolest thing about ice fishing is seeing how they react underwater. Why didn't you get them? Yeah. Well, they're all gone, so. White fish. Got one? There's a white fish in the back, Dill. Good one? You should be filming. Why aren't you filming? What do you got there? I wasn't recording. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I wasn't recording. I didn't have my mic on or anything, but I'll just show you guys there's a nice Alberta perch there. I just dropped down uh, a little jig. Uh, with uh, a little plastic on and uh, he hammered it before he could even set up the jaw jacker so hopefully I can get a few more first one for me of the day let's see that thing that's a good that's size nice uh, there right on finally first time I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> told you you gotta move man oh there's a perch yeah I got a few marks here too that one yeah there we go no jag. Got another one? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, just a little guy. <laughs> Got him right off the top of the mouth again, though. There you go. It's perch number two. Not as big as the first one. Let's get it back down. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's throw this guy back down now. 
Yeah, for these ones, I like to try to keep them where they're actually worth keeping, but they're not a full on breeder. So let's get this guy back in the water. Right on. How deep are you there, Dell? Nine, ten feet. You? Oh, there's a fish. Uh, I'm ten feet, yeah. Oh, there's a pike. <laughs> I'm gonna catch a pike here. <laughs> Are you seeing them or what? Seeing those pike on screen just made my heart race a little bit, but I got probably four pound test on here, I think. So <laughs> it's probably a good thing he's not biting. Oh, here he's, he's eyeing it up again. Let's see if I can get him to bite here. No, he's not really, not really digging it. He's still there though. Swimming around. Let's see if he comes back. That's pretty cool. Obviously that pike rolling through is gonna scare off a lot of the perch, which isn't good for us, but I mean, it is pretty cool to see on the underwater camera. Got one. <laughs> Are you oh. on the jaw jacker there? <laughs> this jaw jacker's fishing for me. Oh, it's caught up in the deucer. Great. Oh no. Oh, he's stuck in the water. <laughs> and that is the most clumsy way to ever catch a perch. <laughs> but he's a half decent one. I think that one might be a keeper. But nice fish. I gotta get a better look at him. There he goes. That's perch number three for me. All on the, the weird jaw jacker setup I have going on here. Every time I try to set it up, I don't want to leave because there's so many fish around. So there's number perch number three. Oh, there's a decent one. Not having it, eh? He's just looking straight at me. <laughs> I'm gonna drop something different down there. That perch just went right up to the camera. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a jig. There we go. Another one. Why is my drag all weird here? This is a nice fish actually, if this is a perch. And it's tangled again. Why is it got the, oh the rod's got like the anti reverse on, that's why. Oh, that's a nice fish, there we go. Perfect, right in the top of the mouth. Come on. I'm pulling this whole mouth apart on that one. <sighs> nice fish. There we go. Perch number four. That's a decent sized one. So what, what I'm doing is just dropping it down right on them. They're hammering it. It's crazy. Just a little jig in plastic. And it seems to be working pretty decently. So let's get a couple. Golden hour is on. Golden perch are biting. Let's get her done. <laughs> got another one. Oh no! This stupid this looks like a cool place to kick it. Oh, uh, get like in my spot, eh? Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's another one. Clinton uh, moving over here to get something on some of the action. There's a nice one right another there. Nice one. Right. Awesome. That's perch number five. Golden hour, golden perch. <laughs> awesome. Nice Finally, <laughs> maybe I'll get Rachel on the camera. <laughs> and I'll just move it closer too, here. so we can get a better, uh, better uh, sight on these fish. Looks like he scared them all away. No more marks. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to catch one on the camera. <laughs> Let's see. Set up the draw jacker. There's nothing over there or what? There was. They're just small and they wouldn't bite. Mm. 
Oh, nibble. How do you hit? How do you nibble? Got one. You got the camera? Yeah. Did the whole jaw jacker. Just play, I just played with the jaw jacker because it's not jigging. And then I just did a little jigging action with it. This reel is not very good. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. And yeah, it was just stationary and nothing was happening. No marks. Um, but then I just kind of wiggled it a little bit. Not too much. Just a little, little kind of make a wiggle worm action and he just snapped at it. That's awesome. There we go, got the hook up. So there you go, another golden Alberta perch. Um, that might wrap up our day today. It was pretty awesome. Once we finally found out where they were, it's kind of a, kind of a challenge, and I know everybody runs into this kind of issue when they're trying to track down yellow perch in Alberta. Um, but yeah, if I can give you any tips, just try to find um, you know, a good depth change and then drop down a, if you have a sonar or a camera, uh, see if they're actually there. See if you get some marks. And if so, if not, don't waste your time because there seems like they kind of been holding up in certain areas. And once you find that area, you can kind of get on them and then you can kind of weed out, try to find a few good sized ones out of the, out of the batch. So great day here on the lake. Uh, starting to, it's starting to get pretty cold and the sun's starting to drop behind us. So we're probably going to call it a day and head and back her up. So thanks for coming by and we'll catch you guys on the next one.